every week. All right, let's move on now. It's time. Three hardcore it was the bomb. archangels it was the in studio. <laughs> I think it was absolutely perfect, David. David, you didn't beat the competition tonight. You crushed the competition. <laughs> David Archuleta on the phone now. Hey, David. Hey. How are you? Oh, doing well. How about you? Good. Oh, my God. It's his voice. It's his voice. It's his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's shaky. Yeah, Karen, how you doing? Hey, <laughs> David. How are you? Oh, hey. I'm doing well. <laughs> Let me introduce you to everybody. Um... What's going to happen here in a couple of minutes, David, is we are going to put you one by one on with three of the biggest David Archuleta fans that you'll ever find in your life. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're, tearing, they're almost tearing up right now just by the sound Aww. of your voice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She wants to talk, but the words won't come out of the mouth. <laughs> Karen, you want to say hi to David? Hi, David. Hi. Hey. Welcome back to Atlanta. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Yeah, on the phone. Is, is this kind of passion um, when people meet you or hear you? Is this still strange for you? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that you were in the finals of Idol. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I, I, it did happen pretty fast. <laughs> because, you know, if you think about it, like the beginning of the year, what was going on, and then now looking, and it's not even the end of the year. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's crazy just to see how, you know, now you went from not a ton of people knowing who you are to a lot more people knowing who you are and working on an album and mm -hmm. even going on a tour over the summer and uh, just a bunch of things. Yeah, it's got to be a little overwhelming for you at, at some points. Like just a couple of years ago, you were a guy, a guy trying to get to this level, and it takes years and years and years. Some people don't make it until their 30s. And here, I mean, you do so well in American Island. Now, all of a sudden, it's, it's right on top of you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I've always wanted to, you know, make my own album and, uh, you know, just go on a tour. And now it's like... <laughs> wow, <laughs> it already happened. It's crazy. Did you think it would happen to you this young? No, I, I was like maybe in like ten years. I, I'm not sure what you know. Was, I'm still like thinking about okay, what am you know what am I gonna do with myself in college? Which you know <laughs> which which classes do I want to take and stuff like that? And it's like I wonder when I'll get a chance to start doing music and what what do I have to do in order to get you know get further ahead and now it's like wow it's here <laughs> it happened uh, already it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, David Archuleta on the Bird Show this morning thank you and it was uh, very cool because Michael Johns was in with us when Fr Friday morning Thursday or Friday morning yeah, Friday at the end yeah. of last week and of all your accomplishments on American Idol Michael Johns is most impressed that you showed up to his birthday party. Right, yes. <laughs> and, 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 oh, he was, well, it was fun. He it was, was a fun birthday. He said that was the biggest surprise of the night. He's hanging out, having a good time, and all of a sudden, Archie walks in, and he's like, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he, he's a character, that guy. He's he, fun, though. He was uh, in town all weekend. He was uh, singing the national anthem yeah, in the concert at the NASCAR uh, event on Sunday. He did a great job. Oh, awesome. I wish I could have... Dean. Well, I'm sure somebody YouTube YouTubed it. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah I'm sure. Well, let's yeah. let's get to the real He's a party though. Let's <laughs> he is because he said the same thing That's about what, you. It was yeah. fun. <laughs> it was fun at his birthday. <laughs> what do you He's do? He's a good guy. Huh? What, do you, what do you do at a party like that? Because everybody there is partying Just around talk. you. You, you get you know see people. There are a lot of people from like the show that I haven't seen and uh, from tour and you know Cook and Chikizi and uh, Brooks. And Jason were all there. It was fun. Yeah, he said there it. were lots of balloons. Mm -hmm. It's kind of home. <laughs> I bet you did. Uh, well, David, let's get to the important yeah. stuff here because we got three hardcore fans in here, and here's how we've worked this this morning: is that each one of them, one by one, is going to come up, and they're going to give you a sixty second pitch on why we should send them down to Houston to your show in Houston with Rihanna and Colby Calais and Gavin DeGraw. And then you are going to be the decider mm -hmm. of which has which pitch made the, the biggest connection, the deepest connection with you. And then we will send that person, that virtual listener and David Archuleta fan, down to Houston. Oh, and, yeah, awesome. And you're not doing it, just so you know, you're not doing it based on ju just these 60 seconds because we have... 
two cameras in here and lights and everything. We're videotaping this. You will get to see the passion that they're wearing as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, it's definitely a visual thing as well as just talking to him on the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right, Karen. Oh, this, boy. Is, this is Karen, and she's got exactly 60 seconds to make her pitch, which starts right now. All right, David. Not that this should sway you or anything, but today is my birthday. That's first and foremost. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. The second thing is I want to tell you the story about how I weathered the storm for David because you came to Atlanta. You had to do the Larry King live show. I didn't get to see you. I had a gift for you. I, w- I had my posters and my T-shirt, and I didn't get to see you. So I went home, and I told my boyfriend that I was so upset. I was devastated that I didn't get to see you. So I got right online. I looked for your next Saturday concert. I had already taken a day off from work for the Atlanta show. So I looked for the next Saturday concert, and what do you know? It was in my hometown of Bridgeport, Connecticut, David. And it was fate. It was meant to be. I was meant to give you my gift in Bridgeport, Connecticut. So I booked a trip to Bridgeport, Connecticut with my boyfriend. We went up there. We did an all Archie weekend. I I made him a shirt that said... seconds. (laughs) I made him a shirt that said, Real Men Wear Archie T-Shirts. He loved it. He was a rock star. He was awesome. I'm on your websites all the time. I support you. I'll buy... All my family members, your CD. <laughs> and that's it. So it's time that time, 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 time. Time. Oh, time. Oh, thanks. And you know what? Even if, <laughs> even if you are not the winner of the Houston trip, David Archuleta still wished you a happy that's birthday. Right. That's right. Yeah. But, uh, Hope you have a good moral, happy birthday. The moral, was, the moral of the storm story was it was the, during the weekend of the tropical storm Ike. So I, I flew oh. up there in the storm. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, David. Uh, I didn't we have, to. Oh, we have we lights in here. They're yellow though. and they're green yeah. and they're red. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's bring contestant number two up now. And again, rules apply. Same rules apply. She will have 60 seconds to tell you exactly why she needs to go down to Houston and see you in show. And this is Lynn. Hey, Lynn, you are on with David Archuleta. Hi, David. This is Lynn and Madison. My daughter's six years old, and we're going to sing a little bit for you. Here it goes. Do you ever think when you're all alone? Oh, we can be where this thing can go. <laughs> okay, she's getting all embarrassed. <laughs> My whole family are fans. I have two boys, and on the night of American Idol finale, they texted and phoned in for the whole four hours. I went up to their rooms at 1 o'clock, and they'd both fallen asleep with their hands and the phones over the end of the bed. Uh, my daughter made a picture for you. I went to the Mer- your concert here, and I gave you the Just Believe um, album that I made for you. And I would just love to be able, I didn't get a chance to really even talk to you, and I was really sad. So um, it would really mean a lot for us to go. And my husband would come with me because he's turning into a big fan. He's always loved your voice, too. <laughs> and um, I got to meet your family, too, when we were there. But, oh, yeah? Um, I tell all the kids I substitute teach at middle school, and I tell all the girls, <laughs> and I ask them if they're fans of you, and they all start singing the song with me. <laughs> and I get up every morning. Um, your one and minute is up. Sorry. No. Sorry. Now let me ask you. I, I, oh, do, I do have a follow-up question because you're a substitute teacher. Yeah. So what if you, after you got the phone call to come in here at eight in the morning, what if you got a phone call that you were needed to teach? Uh, I did get one. You did. And? I, oh yeah, I told them that I was coming here. And I like the angle of bringing in the daughter. Also, yeah. you got to milk those kids. Oh. <laughs> 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 Is her name Madison? Yes. Yeah. Good job singing, Madison. Yeah, good job, Madison. Madison. Oh. All right, we've got one last pitch here, and it is coming from one Kathleen. One last pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kathleen, you've got 60 seconds to make your pitch to David Archuleta. Hi, David. My name is Kathleen, and um, I just wanted to let you know how you kind of influenced me and my life. My mom passed away two years ago when I was a teenager, and uh, she was a single mother of three. I have two younger brothers. And it was just a really trying time for me. And 
very difficult to get through. Um, it was a rough couple of years. And uh, American Idol was something that really brought our family together. But upon her passing, we just kind of, you know, didn't watch it anymore. And mm. then this season, I tuned in and I saw your audition. And my mom was a huge John Mayer fan. And it just really hit home with me. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. It's like my mom speaking to me mm. somehow. You know, I just felt like a connection oh. and everything. And then when you sang Angels, it was just, I oh. can't even explain. Like, that song means so much to me. I had never heard it before, and so I just so closely associated it with you. And it just, I can't express, like, how much it would mean to just see you in person and let you know, like, how much you have impacted not only my life, but my brother's life. And you've just had such a positive impact because you're such a positive person. And, and with your same. spirituality and everything, it just has been... Uh, incredible. I can't even explain it. So oh. 